What you got there? Wood. Wood. This is a kid friendly, it's not. I don't think that's true. display thing. We're making the backings, but we have to discuss how we want to do it because we have options. All right. These are later. Still have to grab more stuff. Have the magnets. Here are our choices. Okay. Right. So I have this wood, which we just cut in the proper lengths, put the dowels in, wood glue, carve out the back for the magnets, slap them on, done. So we, that one we can get done quick. I also have this piece of birch plywood, which we could cut into a more bespoke uh, arrangement. We yeah, have more yes. customization options with this because we can control the width. Right. So which one do you think we should do? I like customization. It's still gonna be like, the way I'm thinking of doing it, because this is a 10 inch wide. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it in, uh, no, yes. I'm going to do five, five inch segments. I just have to make sure that works for what I'm doing. Nick, that's a perfect arrangement. I'm thinking five inches. Let's see if this will work for what I'm thinking. I had pencils over here. My, my thought is customizable and... We can also do these for now and then upgrade Oh, I love the perfect move. paw print on your chest there. Oh, I can't even see it. Just kidding. Yeah. Get a, I'll get a tracing of it for the tattoo I want. <laughs> this is still, this is, uh, birch I think is a hardwood, but this is a plywood, so it's not as hard as like single strip of birch would be. Right. But this is still harder than this. Mm -hmm. So if this will take dents, this won't take dents as well. Okay. As much. So I'm, I'm leaning here, but it's also, it's also thinner. There's more area to fuck it up. Hmm. And this one we do have to like because it's custom. We have to rip it down specifically. Right. So we have to we have to cut this one uh, and be very careful throughout because if we mess up anything, then we, that's just scrap at that point. So we're gonna do tens. We're gonna do tens and of fives. That way we can fit three. All three. Three astride each other, and two tens will fit in there. More than two tens will fit in there. But I think we figured out we're gonna create the strips out of these, and we're gonna make bespoke singles out of these. Because mm -hmm. that way we have plenty, I can probably even get these trimmed down so they're thinner for that. Yeah. Maybe not quite half, but, because we want something to grip on. Yeah, And then a little shaped. So we can get these cut, measured, doweled. Um, I also have to make, we need a thing so that it goes in at a slight angle, because you don't want to be straight out, you want it to be slightly. Right. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pick a piece of scrap wood. I'm going to cut into it. I'm going to bore into it 90 degree angle. Then on the angle cutter, I'm going to cut the angle we want in it. And that way it'll like lean as, and I can just use that as a guide hole for the angle we want. There. Roxy's used to this shit. A little confused. Just a little confused. A little confused. She likes that everybody's outside. You, you take pride in your craft. So these are one and a half. So I, this way I make sure like it's, it's in here, it goes back and forth. And now, yeah. Oh, you wiggle, oh, you wiggle. You move this way. Okay, there you go. It can't feels wiggle. unsafe. It can't wiggle. It's down. We don't need up that far. If you have it up too far, it's dangerous. Right. Oh yeah, wait. The ground is wet. The ground is wet. And electric. Well, Boogie woogie. I'm gonna do what I can to keep it off the ground. Please, thank you. Husband, dear husband. I'm going to stay alive, wife. <laughs> There's a way you can do this, which I'm forgetting, that prevents that prevents it from. There we go. I think that's it. So this way, even if the the cord pulls, it won't unplug. 
Yeah, that's how you do it. So I switched my jig with a saw blade appropriate for the wood we're cutting because I want it to be a nice finish. Mm -hmm. We're going to measure these down to, well here's, here's the thing, I can measure them down to 10 inches and we'll have a random 8 inch at the end, or I can make 9 inches and we'll just have them all be the same. Which would you prefer? I like all things being the same, but with 9 inches, it should still be fine for the dowel, because we're really only losing a half inch off each side and the dowel will be centered. So the 9 inch should be fine. Let's, let's measure measure twice before we cut once. Five. And then between that is going to be two and a quarter. So yeah, there'd be a little bit of overhang at nine, which would hide it. Because we want them far apart enough, too, that people yeah. can grab on and take it off. Right. They, we do need space. So maybe ten would be better just to get space between them. Yeah. yeah. You can also grab from the, the top and the bottom. To get yeah, true. But I think maybe 10. All right, then. We can always trim it down, but we can't make them bigger. That's true. Mm -hmm. Have I told you this trick before? You never you never make your, uh, you, like, you don't measure 10 on everything and then try to cut it and think it's the same. You cut one and use that as your block yeah. to cut all the rest. You have said that. It's a good trick. It's smart. You know what? This is, I'm going to be working with a saw. I'm going to put this electric wire away. Nice and shiny. Let's blow. Look at that. I'm going to go in there. Look at that. Nice. Put three down the side. The hang. Put some magnets on the back. Dowel's coming out the front at a slightly upward angle. And then we have a nice bespoke jewelry box. Mm -hmm. Nice smooth cut. So, we were just discussing because you said, well, that's for the side. What about the middle? Right. So, in the middle, you just do two. And you can either, depending on aesthetics, you can either push them together, whereas they're going to be like behind everything and painted, no one's going to notice, or you can separate them to get the spacing that you want. And since it's magnets also, on this, we could even do like a zigzaggy situation. Yeah, we could even do that. Which, if it's like a longer yeah. piece of jewelry versus a shorter, that might look nice. Yeah. Well, the magnets we got are pretty strong, but I would, uh, I want to put two magnets on the back of this, see how it works, but we have spaces for a third and a fourth if necessary. But for a longer one, I'd worry about the number of magnets needed because it's going to drastically increase the weight per magnet. Fair. So we keep them all shorter. Keep, if we keep them all shorter, then I'm more secure that the magnets are going to keep holding. We have pretty powerful magnets, but we also like, we don't want to get like danger science magnets. We just need right. it to hold up like maybe a pound. And this keeps it more module anyway. Like, exactly. You can move things around more. Exactly. This keeps it super module. Modular. Majuli. Majuli. So now that we have four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like go through the whole process and make sure that we have it down before we cut everything and find right. out, oops, we did it wrong. Confirm. Yeah. So we have one, so we have four 10 inch segments. We have to, we have to cut the dowels and wood glue them to slightly upward angle. So we have to drill a hole at a slightly upward angle and then just douse it. Right. So a couple of things I need. I need to take a block. Drilling the proper size hole for the dowel. We can glue in the dowels, carve out the areas for the magnets, glue those in, and then we'll have working uh, demonstrations of what we're trying to do. I don't think we're going to finish this today, but we'll at least have the process done. This is fine. Let's cut a piece off of this. Do any bits? Uh, you got to remember to put your bits away. The unfortunate part of the way my brain works is I have a really good. A really good thing for getting projects uh, started and getting the area, and then I just leave. <laughs> and it's a mess. I'm trying to be better with it. Part of my building process has to be putting away. Alright. So now we have a guide, but it's straight up and down. But we want it to be slightly angled. Some shops in garages, you'll keep your stuff plugged in. A, the circuit breaker that this garage is on can't handle all that, and B, I like my saws unplugged. Yeah. If I'm not using them, I like to know that they're not just going to, like, go toy soldiers on me. Okay. 
So that would be the angle of the dowel. Down, oh, that's a nice fit too. So it's just upward enough. Inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters. Okay, so inch and three quarters from the edges. All right. There. There. Slightly upward angle. And it'll be standardized across because I got my thing. So now we just have to figure out how long the dowels should be. Probably up to here, maybe? Yeah. Is that too long? Well, how many are we trying to fit? I think two or three. So. It also has to like fit in the box when it closes. So. Uh, there's that. I think that's the most important part. That'll do it. We've been sent on a mission. Do you know where the box cutter is? Oh. Probably under all of my candy. Yes. Box cutter. <laughs> You're a good girl. Let's go back out. Back outside. Yeah. Come on. You snapped the dowel. Snapped the dowel. Aww. Just, just holding it under my arm. Just. It was weak. <laughs> Puny dowel. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Now I am gonna wood glue these, but right. I do think. I do think I can also make the divots for the magnets and glue them same time because I don't have to like, I don't have to go crazy with the with glue, I can just dot and that right. and then just wipe because it's all on the inside is where I'm worried about and then, then I can glue the magnets and then, so we can get one ready to test by tomorrow. The angle's slightly off on some of them, but like it's going to, it's handmade, it's going to have those. Yeah, no, I don't know that. Yeah, and they all have a the slight... Magnets. We all have a slight up to them. We also have a different kind of magnet we got, which uh, I thought I might glue to the end so we could put price tags on the ends. That could be cute. But that means we have to take the price tags off and we're sliding stuff off. That's true, and that gets here same. Yeah, so we could still use them for price tags, but put them around and not right. on. Baby's house just standing here. There's, there's no need. There's no need. I love you. Happy butt. You were talking before about not keeping the extra stuff you're not using. Is there a reason we kept all these doors? What are they for? That's the old front door. Right. Um, we just haven't gotten rid of it. Uh, that door we never installed. That door came with the garage. Oh. The only reason we kept that is it's a solid wood door, which is not easy to find anymore. Oh. Most doors now are a hollow frame. Um, so we just didn't get rid of it. Uh, we asked uh, when our, we had a friend who might have needed the door, and so right. we offered that one, but they never picked it up, so. so now Technically, just... if we're cleaning this place out in spring, we can get rid of all the wood paneling and doors and everything and clean this place up. That door, I didn't even notice till now, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we got doors. We have multiple- Doors for days. Doors, just up here. Doors in the ceiling. for days. Okay, pop out real quick. It up. But that should be the basics of where the magnets are going to go. <laughs> it's just got to—it's got to be a little bit bigger for that one. But then drop it in. Just throw glue over it. <laughs> right. That's the plan. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. Now are you okay? Now it's flush. I like it on that. Okay. Defeated. I just, think it looks nice. Just honestly. carve the whole channel in. Yeah, I actually think that looks nice. Wood glues in, now we'll glue in the magnets, and then we just have to set it aside while it dries. <laughs> so. You have made a beautiful thing. Thank you. Hi! 
Hi, hello. Puppies are so excited. We're oh. outside. Oh goodness, hello. Hi. So Hi. Oh. Hi, hello. Yes. What you up to? <laughs> Painting? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna paint the, the jewelry box. I, have to, I did the edges last night. And I'll probably have to go back and do some some tweaking to make it even to make it prettier. But uh, we're doing the upholstery, we're doing the painting. Brushy, brushy, because I want the paint to be able to stick in the corners and there's sawdust that's collected in here. Painter's tape. It is so cold outside. I don't want to be outside. But I can be helpful. It is just above freezing today, which means I can do painting. It is so cold. It is cold. It is, in fact, just above freezing. <laughs> I hate this. It's, uh, it's less, less fun than some other things we could be doing. It's been a fun day all around. It's chilly. It's chilly no matter what, though. It is. Wobbly. What? I want to make sure the tape's not in the way. Time to paint. Yay. So what you doing? I am making the upholstery. We want to be able to switch it out, so our idea was instead of installing it directly into the box where like stuff can happen to it, mm -hmm. I'm making an insert and we're gonna put mat I'm gonna sew magnets into the corner where I'm hemming. I'm just and then uh, it'll just stick to the box like the, the display does. I'm just trimming this down because I don't need the hem to be that big. I'm gonna have to move the magnet through because that's a metal plate, so. It is done. No, no, we have to test it. Uh, take it outside, throw it on the metal sheet, make sure it sticks this button well. And then I gotta make another one of these and I gotta make a big purple one. Yeah. And then, then we did it. Hi. What's, what's going on? Hi. Oh, is it belly rub time? I, yes. apparently I was running late to this important meeting, the belly rub meeting. Mm -hmm. Hi. So I just, I do want to point out my ensemble. Because it's a lazy Sunday, so I'm like, I'm not wearing real pants, but it's also still chilly out, so I'm just wearing my pajamas. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do real work in my pajamas. Should I be helping? No. Okay. I don't, I don't even know where, to be, where you would begin. That's fair. To be helping. I'm just trying not to pinch my fingers. Let's twist this around. And there we go. Look at that. Some handsome boy genius did this. Look how nice that looks. You saw me make this last night, and mm -hmm. actually the magnets all worked out because they're all over there holding it together, so that, that works nicely. But let's make sure that the magnets are strong enough to hold up the whole thing, otherwise I'll have to sew up more magnets. Uh, this is, so, boop, up in the corner, up in the corner, Down in the corner, down in the corner. All right, so maybe one more magnet at the top to hold it. Just like in the middle. Let's see how it works with these, which we still need to paint these, but yeah, it shouldn't affect how well these stick. Let's make sure. Oh, that's that nice. nice. Ah, it's upside down. <laughs> it's just. It's just a slight angle, but it's important. Go get it. <laughs> yes. Yes. The satisfying cool shape. Yes. Painted box. Gotta add the hardware tomorrow, and there's a couple more pots I'll have to like spot check. But by the end of the weekend, we should have the hardware on there, which is good because we're nice. three weeks out from our first convention. Yeah, yeah. Before and after. Also, our lime tree lives in here now. 
Hello. Hello. So we have to figure out which way is up. Oh, should have grabbed a battery. These have screws. The clasps do not. Are those for feet? Or? Yeah, these are the feet. Each panel gets its four feet. We also have clasps, so I'm just trying to figure out how many of this needs and where. Right. I don't want jewelry slipping out, but it also, like, it might be fine with two on the front. Pick it up and shake it just to see if it opens. Yeah. Oh, do you want to see the woodpecker? Sure. Oh. Feet time. Prepare to be feeded. Rather than defeated. Exactly. Feeded. No, you got That's it. good. I got it. I'm with you. I understand you. So uh, I I might need you to put a thumb on. How about a finger? Just because it needs to. This this wants oh, to. God. Yeah, this wants oh, to mouse trap. Yeah. Oh, That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I need to hold it open to do the thing. All right. Oh, wait. I think I got it. I think I got it if I just splay. Is that, is that where I want it to be? That's where I want it to be. Yep. That fixed it. You two find a treasure? Working together? Being a team. Uh, I need you to hold down this because it needs to be. And hopefully, I don't get any more bum screws. We want it to be as tight as possible. Everything's down in place. Keep holding. Keep holding. Mm -hmm. Holding, holding, holding. <laughs> Should we let go? Shake test? Yeah, just... So, we just put on the lashes, and then I can just... And it stays, stays together real good. It's nice and solid. Mm. What are you up to? What are you doing? What you buying? What you selling? Hey. hey! Oh, hi! Hey. Hi! Hi! Oh, oh, you're so warm and marvelous. you covered in mud. And beautiful puppies. Real solid. It's got a little, little, little jiggle down here. I could be, uh, maybe not be able to move that out, but womp, womp, and away. The only thing is, when we're packing up, I can't guarantee it's going to be straight up and down. So what we might want to do is have um, just a little clip we put on the ends of the thing because we'll load it up pre. Convention. The idea is we get there, open it up, and it's all set up. Right. So we don't have to do any more. So if we put like, just like binder clips on the end to keep things from sliding off, then I'm less worried about it. The worst thing that happens similar. is the bar falls off the magnet, and we just put it. I was thinking similar. Nixie. Nixie. Bracelet. Fancy bracelet. Hey. These are the un. Screws of indeterminate origin that I've collected that when I have a project, I see if I have any sets that meet what I need. Like well, that. that way you're not screwed. Yeah. So for now, one handle and eventually another on the other side. Yeah. So our wood screws, so they should, should hold pretty well. I like the idea of having weight carry it without hurting yourself. And it is just yourself, because it'll be heavy and I will not be able to. You're very small. Right. Nice. Can I interest you in my wares? <laughs> what you buying? What you selling? So yeah, that's all the hardware. Hello. Nice. 
from the hangers, which were lovingly and delicately painted by our own Rowan Gold. I think this one goes the other way. Let's make sure we're spacing these enough. Yeah, that's good. Our new handmade backings <laughs> and our new jewelry display case. Once we know this works properly, I can make single ones of these uh, to show off like really bespoke pieces we're, we're happy with. You, the really unique ones that's just like, we only made one and we'll only yeah. ever make one. And I, I like that this doesn't have to be next to each other. They could be like yeah. a little back and forth. Yeah, we can zigzag them. Mm -hmm. No matter which way I point, it seems to point down. Well. Give it to me. What? Give it to me. Give you? Fix. So. I think my height is just throwing me off too. Yeah. It, it's this way. It's this way? Because to me it still looks like it's pointed down because... Because you're high up. The lights need to be charged, but this is the basics of... Mm -hmm. So they'll shine down on the jewelry. We can move that down if we need to to keep it out of the... Thing. And all these have an internal battery, and we also have a backup, and then everything's nice and well lit. Yeah, and you can see what I, I did that you probably hate, but I like. You can do that and keep it all. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I think visually this is more interesting. Yeah. Do that, and then everything's just nice and lit. And here it is all together. We're going to have some stuff in front of it. On the table, like in that area. Not this table, obviously. But yeah, otherwise, this is it. Our new display. Ta-da! Remember how Rob mentioned the binder clips? So that's how we're keeping it all for travel. My hope is to get more of these, though, the little bats. Because that's, that's just on brand. Rock on!